New at 4.30, a local couple say they are lucky to have survived after they bombed their house for roaches but ended up poisoning themselves. A hazmat crew rushed in to save them and get them to the hospital. New 6's Lauren Korn is in Volusia County with how this whole thing happened and how the husband and wife are doing tonight. The couple and their pets are back home doing much better after last night's scary situation, which you're about to see on body camera video. The husband tells me he's used these bug bombs before inside another home and says he's never had this type of reaction until last night. What's going on, boss? We let a four in the house, brought all our animals out. Herbert Scott tried solving their roach problem Thursday night by using four raid bug bombs and waiting it out on the front porch. We were outside for an hour, hour and a half. My wife had to go to the bathroom. Scott says he grew concerned when his wife never returned. So I went into the house and found her collapsed on the floor. And while I was on the phone with 911, I went into a full blown asthma attack. Stay outside. Stop going inside. You can see the firefighters arriving decked out in hazmat suits as Herbert tried telling them in between coughing fits that his wife was still inside. My throat was burning. My, my nose was burning, running. My eyes were burning. It, it was just really intense. Firefighters used a sheet to drag Herbert's wife out the door and scooped up the couple's dogs to get checked out to make sure they were OK. When we were at the hospital, they had to hose us off before they even got us into the emergency room itself. Scott and his wife were given oxygen and other breathing treatments to get rid of the toxins. It's dangerous stuff. <laughs> the roach problem is now solved, and Scott says he's learned a valuable lesson that he wants to share with others. Go by the time guidelines and definitely ventilate your place for at least two hours before even going back in there <laughs> or longer. In Volusia County, Lauren Corn getting results, News 6.